In this particular video session, I am going to talk about how do you go about finding the second largest of four unequal numbers. So let's assume those numbers are A, B, C and D respectively. What I have done is I have created two memory locations called as large and second large. So first what I'll do is I'll proceed to do the program then I'll explain at the appropriate time. So what I'm doing is I'm asking the user to enter the four numbers and I'm reading the four numbers into four memory locations. At step number one what I'm assuming is I'm going to only process one number at a time. So my large is going to be A as well as my second large is also going to be A because at this point since I have only seen one number, I am assuming my largest as well as second largest is A. So in this case, let's take the first line, large would be one, second large would also be one. Now, I will look at B. When I'm processing B, there are two possibilities. Okay, B can be greater than the current large. So what will happen is, B will replace the value of A or it is possible like in the second line here B is not bigger than the large but B is smaller than this second large. So the second large needs to be replaced with B. So what I am going to do here is I am going to type this particular code. If okay, B is greater than large okay, then what happens my new large is going to become B. Okay. So my large is going to be assigned the value of B. Now I can't simply use a else statement. I should use a else if statement. So I'm going to say else if B lesser than second large B lesser than second large then what is going to happen is yes large is equal to B. Okay, the second largest is equal to B. Now I have taken care of B because if you see if B was 2, okay, 2 would be bigger than 1 and the large would be large would be 2. Second line A is 4, B is 3. So initially large would be 4, second large also would be 4. Now is 3 greater than 4? No. But is 3 less than 4? Yes. So second large becomes B. So I have taken care of B. Now it is quite easy. All that I need to worry is almost continue with the same logic with a few changes. If C is greater than large. Okay. Now two things happen here. If C is greater than large, then I need to replace the large with C. But at the same time, I also need to change the second large. So what I will do is I will say second large will take the value of the current large. So yes, large is equal to large and the new value of large is going to be equal to C. All right. So I'm going to explain just hold on. So don't panic if you're not getting it, but it's going to be quite simple. So I have taken care of one part of C. Now there is one more possibility. Okay. What is that possibility? C can still be greater than the second large. So I need to only replace the second large. So I'm going to say else if C okay greater than second large then I'm going to only replace second large with C. So what I'm going to do is let me do a little copy and paste here and I'm going to bring it here and I'm going to say second large is equal to C. Now this way I have dealt with C. Same way I am going to deal with D. Okay, just take a look at it. Here what I am going to do here is instead of C I am going to have D. If D is greater than large, my new large is going to be D. But before that I am going to change the value of second large with the old value of large. And this again I am going to change is D and make this fellow as D. Alright, so before I go ahead and try to run this program, okay, I need to type one more line, printf second largest is percentage d slash n, okay. 
S L A R G E. Now, whenever you are writing any program, it's always a great idea to create data sets like this. Okay, say for example, this could be you know two one sorry two one four and three or this sorry four and three. I'm not sure why it's giving this paint stuff four and three or now I can have this one also I can have this as three this as one or this as yeah let me have this as four this I can have as one and this I can have as two so if you create this data sets like this you can automatically looking at the data set come up with the logic so let's try to take a look at this logic and just initially see whether it's working correctly for A and B. Then we can take a look at C and D later on. So what I'm doing is I'm asking the user to enter the phone numbers. The phone numbers are entered into A, B, C, D. Initially, large is A, second large is also A. So initially one is large. Okay, I'll delete this. Second large is also one. Now, let me take a look at this line two. Now is two bigger than one yes two is bigger than one so what i am going to do here is i am going to replace my large value now is going to be replaced by two and my second large remains or as one because second large has not changed i have not gone to this else if okay so we have taken care of b now let's look at three here now so we come to three so c is three so is C3 greater than 2? Yes. So what I need to do is I need to make the second largest 2 and the largest as 3. So what I do is first I change second large to 2 and then what I do is I change large to 3. So this way large and second large are now this is large and this is second large. The else if will not get executed because this is 2 and 3. Now the last number I have is 4. So once I come to 4, okay, what happens here with 4? Take a look here. It is 2 and 3. D is 4. Is 4 greater than 3? Yes. So second large will take the value of large. So second large will now end up becoming 3. And what about large? Large will take the value of D which happens to be 4. So now second large is 3. So when I try to print the value of the second largest here, it is going to print as 3 on the output screen. So this should give you a run or an idea about how I went about developing the logic. Now since B is the only different one, let's take a look at line 2. Initially, okay, A is 4, B is 3. So large is 4, second large is also 4. Then what happened? B is 3. Is 3 bigger than 4? No. So this line was not going to get processed. Okay. Now I will come here. So here what happens is, is B less than second large? Is 3 less than 4? Yes. So what will happen to second large? Second large will end up becoming, this was 4 and this became 3 now. So we have got 4 and 3. So large is 4, second large is 3. So we got C as 2 and D as 1. So let's see what happens. So is C which is 2. Is 2 greater than 4? False. Is 2 greater than 3? False. Okay. So, so this still remains as 4 and 3 here because 2 is not greater than this fellow here. This fellow here 2 is not greater than 4 and 2 is not greater than 3. So nothing happens. Then last number is 1. Is 1 greater than 4? No. Is 1 greater than 3 as you can see here? No. So the second largest is going to be is going to be 3. Now let's try to run this with the different combinations to really see if this is working. So let's give our first sample input. Okay, there are some errors. A undeclared and first use. So I have given capital A, whereas I have used small a here. All right. All right. This takes care of the first. Let's compile. There may be a few other errors. It will let us know. Okay. All right. Somewhere I have missed a semicolon. So let's try to look. It's line number 20. So line number 20. Yeah. I put numbers here and forgotten to delete this fellow. 
okay I delete this fellow here let's try to see if I have done any mistake like that okay let's try to run it and see what happens okay so far so good enter of two four numbers one two three and four so what should be the second largest it should print three as the second largest so it's doing it perfectly three is the second largest let's try with some more different combinations because it should work in every possible case not just one test data so let's give negative numbers minus one minus three minus five minus six so which is the second largest in this negative one minus three should be the second largest so okay so it shows minus three as the second largest this way you can understand the logic by clearly taking a table of different values of a b c d taking a look at the logic by doing a dry run at each step substitute the value of large and second large if they are changing or take a pen and paper draw a table as you did in an algorithm and look at what are the values of large and second large after every step or every step you really run and once you run every step you should if there is any errors in the logic you will be able to quickly trace and you will be able to fix that particular bug so i hope this helps you understand how to find the second largest of four unequal numbers it should not be two it should be second largest of four unequal numbers.